I've been struggling the past couple weeks to show up in my creative practice, and that in turn sets off my inner critic and feelings of shame and self-worth. And, um, and that's just a vicious cycle that continues and makes me lose even more motivation to show up to my creative practice. And I find that the only way to break it is to show up to what I'm avoiding and the things that normally bring me joy. Welcome to episode nine. I'm Jennifer Russell and this is Building Wing Studio. So I'm here at my work table that has sat vacant for two weeks. And even though I've had lots of time to show up, um, especially with what's going on right now in the world with COVID-19 and the pandemic and being in, in isolation, I've had all this time and I feel, I'm not sure if others feel this way too, I have a feeling that you might, is overwhelmed with this time and so many things that I could be doing, but I'm not doing it. It's just um, a feeling of block or overwhelm or fear of showing up to the practice. I'm not quite sure um, what that feeling is, but I know that I'm not getting to my practice. And that doesn't have to happen because of a pandemic, but I get, the, I get this feeling before, but it just seems like right now where I have the time and then I feel guilty that I'm not using this time um, for myself. For me, I think it's the feeling of the unknown, not knowing what's coming and just being thrown out of my routines unexpectedly and being removed from my normal circle of connection and support and how that network works and comes together, it's really thrown me into a loop. One of the wonderful things that has come from it so far is the opportunity to spend time with my family with no other obligations leaning on us. So one thing that has been nice to focus on is that we're able to connect in a different way and form memories and moments that we'll have forever. Connections are so important um, for us as human beings on a physical, mental, and spiritual level. Even for someone like me who is a self-proclaimed introvert, I may be very quiet and often seem withdrawn, but I am paying attention and I am making connections, even if I'm not participating in the way that others might. During this time of disconnect, I encourage you to seek groups online and call people, reach out to people that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, get yourself out of that feeling of of being stuck or alone. On the creative practice side, if you are in creative groups, uh, speak up in them, talk to people there, connect with them, see what they're doing, what they're going through, how they're dealing with it. Build those connections and friendships. I have, if you're not a part of it already, I have a group called Building Wings um, Studio Cafe, which is a private group for people who follow me and want to dive a little deeper into the creativity or connecting with their artwork on a different level. Uh, we do a lot of inquiry-based things and we share what we're going through in our artwork and um, building a community there. So you can join me there if you'd like to talk more with me or with the people in that group. But some other groups that I find very supportive and are just wonderful are Ivy Newport's uh, creative community. She's really great and the people in there are very supportive. Uh, Shiloh Sophia's Red Thread Classroom and Tamara Laporte, who's the founder of Lifebook, has a group called Willowing and Friends. These are all very um, cozy and lovely groups to, to connect with and it's not necessarily all about creativity, it's also about wellness and, and building each other up. Each of those groups you can find on Facebook uh, and they're really great because they have different community members, they're posting, uh, not just their work, but also things that they find for tutorials or freebie lessons. Um, I know Ivy shares her lessons on there. Um, she checks in often, as well as on the Red Thread Classroom. There's different members there and teachers that are sharing their work right now to help people connect and process what's happening. If you're feeling stuck in your creative practice or looking to start a creative practice, I invite you and encourage you to just start wherever you're at. Um, even with just small doodles, no matter where you're at in your creative journey, you can start by just doodling. Just get your hand moving, break that fear of whatever it is that's holding you back in your motivation. Um, you can check out, if you're not sure where to start, you can check out some of my tutorials on my YouTube channel, on Facebook, and in my community I have some live streams that are still posted there. Um, you could check out some of those other people that I mentioned. Find You can find a free class, there's a lot of those right now. 
um, two in particular, Ivy Newport again, and Flora Bowley is showing up on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, she's another one of my favorite artists, and she is painting live on those two dates. And I'll put those um, websites below in the comments or in the description. But for now, and any time really, take care of your mental and physical health. I want you to be well. Um, don't forget to take time to do the things that refuel you. Do the things that you love. Don't forget to, to make time for those. Even if you don't quite feel like doing them, make time for them. Make the space and they will come. If you're creating something, whether that's food, a dance, a story, a poem, maybe it's just reorganizing something to get you started and motivated, share it. Share it on your timeline. Share it in one of the groups. Share it privately. Send me a message. I'd love to know what you're doing. Connect with others and be in conversation. Feel held and supported by those around you, even if they can't be with you at this time. And until next time, be inspired. Here's a little bit about this week's tutorial. Um, as if you've watched some of my other um, processes or tutorials, you'll know that I do a lot of journaling and a lot of question-based inquiries with my art. And that's one way that I connect to myself and to my creative practice. So it's not about creating a beautiful picture in the end. It's about how I relate to my art and that m the finished product becomes something meaningful to me. It's more than just a creation. It's actually part of my story. And this week's tutorial, um, whether if you choose to go a little deeper and connect with it, the question that I have for you is around connection. Now, when I originally created this one, it was about the ancestors that live within and what stories they carry and how that um, relates to me now. But I've twisted it a little bit and I want it to represent the connections that we all have, whether they're ancestral, whether they're friends, family, um, pets, nature. What are those things that help you to connect? And how do they make you feel? What are their stories? How do they shape you? And how does that help to shape others? You'll see some of the inquiries come up in the tutorial, but I just wanted to give you a little heads up as to what's coming in and one of the ways that we can connect on another level with what we do each day with intention. So think about those connections and how they um, shape you in the past, in the present, and moving forward. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.